What's going on, buddy? Soliaka here. San Joaquin, you were right. There is a law that allows me to carry a firearm in California. So uh, we're going to get into this video. I want to give a huge shout out to Biosauce. Links are in the description. And I just wanted to say thank you, San Joaquin, and thank you, Biosauce, for bringing this to my attention because now it gives me a reason to come to California. And I've always wanted to come but I was just never gonna come there because guess what? You guys got some really bad gun laws, but now I'm coming. Don't forget, hit that like, share, and that subscribe button, all that good stuff, and solely Acker, deuces. My first time interacting with law enforcement while carrying a firearm in California was on some BLM land in Lake County. My friend and I were just getting back to the parking area from a hiking trail when we noticed that all the cars were gone, except for ours and two sheriff vehicles. I noticed one of the deputies talking to the other through the car window, and so as we approached them to pass, uh, I asked if we had missed something, and the deputy said, oh yeah, you guys missed the party. Uh, there was a bit of a scuffle, and now we're evacuating the area. I said, oh, well, just so you know, officer, there's a firearm on my right hip here. You know, I don't want you to get the wrong idea or anything. Uh, he said, okay, thanks. And uh, so we continued over to our car where I quickly locked up my firearm and we started packing. But as we were getting ready to leave, uh, the two deputies came over and we chatted for like 15, 20 minutes about firearm rights and uh, BLM land. And then the deputy said this to me, he said, you know, you can actually carry a gun anytime you're fishing in California. I said, what? I had told him I didn't believe him and he laughed and just told me to check it out when I got home. And so I did. And <laughs> sure enough, California Penal Code, Section 25400. It says here that a person is guilty of carrying a concealed firearm when the person does any of the following. One, carries concealed within any vehicle that is under the person's control or direction any pistol, revolver, or other firearm capable of being concealed upon the person. Two, carries concealed upon the person any pistol, revolver, or other firearm capable of being concealed upon the person. Three, causes to be carried concealed within any vehicle in which the person is an occupant, any pistol, revolver, or other firearm capable of being concealed upon the person. Uh, it goes on to discuss the different punishments for violating this penal code. Pay attention to this code. This is the code that allows people without a permit to carry, so pay attention. But the important section is here, section 25640. Uh, Penal Code 25640 states that Section 25400 does not apply to or affect licensed hunters or fishermen carrying pistols, revolvers, or other firearms capable of being concealed upon the person while engaged in hunting or fishing or transporting those firearms unloaded when going to or returning from the hunting or fishing expedition. Um, that's an important note. It's got to be unloaded when you're on your way there or on your way back. So that's right, as long as you're a licensed fisherman engaged in or on your way to engage in fishing, you can actually carry a concealed firearm without a permit. Now, you still have to be mindful of some state and local properties that have signs posted prohibiting firearms. You still have to listen to those. Also, know that if for some reason you do have a run-in with law enforcement, not all of them are gonna be familiar with this penal code. Uh, I went to a sheriff's town hall here in Sonoma County and mentioned this to Sheriff Mark Essick and while he was aware of this penal code, the majority of his deputies were not. So if you do this, it might not be a bad idea to carry a physical copy of the penal code with you. Now, I haven't been able to find a single video about this anywhere and the only news article I could find is from 2010 by the LA Times and even they were confusing open carry with the concealed carry this law permits. So I've been really excited to share this with you guys. Be safe out there. I'll catch you next time. And like I said, thank you, Biosauce, and thank you, San Joaquin, for bringing, for bringing more of this law to light for me. Because now I will bring this light to California. I will be making a trip. It won't be in the next week or two, but I will be trying to plan a trip. If anybody wants to help Soliaker, the armed fisherman, get over to California so that you can see him not open carry, but conceal carry in a state that has very restrictive gun laws. And when I say restrictive, uh, it's just, you know, ma magazine capacity, AR-15, you have to get it into certain ways. Just, they're, they're so unconstitutional. And for me to be able to come to California 
and carry without a permit and still do what I do here in Florida is going to be awesome. So San Joaquin, I hope you're watching. Biosauce, I hope you're watching. For everybody that is watching, go to Biosauce. The, the link is in the description. Go to the video. Let them solo yakers come in. And I would love to link up with this guy. My email, Biosauce, is thearmedfisherman at gmail.com. I would love to link up with you and actually go out because you're the one that you put, produced the video that actually helped me really get in depth with this law. So that being said, I can't say thank you enough to both San Joaquin and Biosauce for giving me education to California gun laws. So I will be coming soon and I will see you there. Soliacker, deuces.